The fact that Moore's Law is slowing down has become apparent over the previous half of the decade, with performance among the top desktop chips only having increased by around 25%. Whether this is because of Intel's lack of motivation due to having no real competition, or other, more technical reasons hindering the increase in performance, is up for debate. But today, the outlook on chip performance keeping up and potentially surpassing Moore's law is starting to become more realistic due to numerous, surprising innovations in that field. The most unknown innovation in that field, which this video is about, would be computer chips designed by artificial intelligence in a few hours instead of by hundreds of humans having to spend multiple months to produce an inferior chip. While that sounds like science fiction, I'll tell you that one of these AI-designed chips is already in use by arguably the biggest tech company in the world. Welcome to this episode of AI News. In this episode, I'll show you what AI-designed chips mean for the industry, how performant they are and when we can expect to get our hands on them ourselves. Moore's Law, which states that the number of components per chip doubles every two years, has long been a driving force in the computer industry. This rate of advancement equates to a weekly rise of around 1% in the number of components on a chip. As a result, the failure to automate floor planning is troublesome. Not only because of the time costs, but also because it restricts the amount of solutions that may be investigated within chip development timelines. However, in April of 2020, everything changed. On that day, Mirhosaini, a computer scientist from Google, uploaded a preprint of the current study to an online repository. It claimed that in just six hours, our method can develop chip designs that are superhuman or comparable, which in other words means that the method can surpass humans in an astonishingly short amount of time. Several semiconductor design businesses, design tool providers, and university research organizations made efforts to comprehend and duplicate the findings within days. Google's engineers write in the report that their study has huge ramifications for the semiconductor industry. It should make it easier for enterprises to explore the architectural space for future designs and to modify processors for specific workloads. The finding, according to a leading scientist in the chip manufacturing sector, is a major achievement, and it might help counter Moore's Law's predicted conclusion. Moore's Law asserts that the number of transistors on a chip doubles every two years, according to a 1970s observation in chip design. While AI may not be able to tackle the physical hurdles of cramming more transistors onto processors, it may be able to help identify alternative ways to boost performance at the same time. Google's engineers write in the report that their study has huge ramifications for the semiconductor industry. It should make it easier for enterprises to explore the architectural space for future designs and to modify processors for specific workloads. The work that Google's algorithms took on is referred to as floor planning. This normally necessitates the use of human designers, who use computer tools to discover the best arrangement on a silicon die for a chip subsystems. CPUs, GPUs, and memory cores are among the components, which are linked together by tens of kilometers of microscopic wire. The location of each component on a die has an impact on the chip's overall speed and efficiency. Nanometer alterations in location can have tremendous consequences, given the size of chip manufacturing and computing cycles. According to Google's developers, building floor layouts takes months of intensive labor for humans, but there is a familiar way to approach this challenge from a machine learning perspective, as a game. Google's developers emphasize that floor planning is similar to board games like Chess and Go, where AI has demonstrated it can surpass humans time and time again. You have a silicon dice instead of a gaming board. Instead of knights and rooks, components such as CPUs and GPUs are used. The goal is to simply determine the win conditions for each board. In Chess, checkmate is the goal, in chip design, computational efficiency is the goal. When AI systems compete against people in board games, we've observed that robots don't always think like humans and often come up with unexpected answers to common issues. When DeepMind's AlphaGo took on human champion Lee Settle in Go, this dynamic resulted in the notorious, Move 37, an irrational piece placement by the AI that led to victory. Although nothing as catastrophic occurred with Google's chip designing algorithm, its floor layouts do not resemble those generated by a person. Subsystems appear to be spread around the silicon at random, rather than clean rows of components set out on the die. 
The distinction is illustrated in a nature picture, with human design on the left and machine learning design on the right. The overall difference is also seen in the graphic below from Google's paper, orderly humans on the left, disordered AI on the right, however the layout has been masked because the information is confidential. During this global chip shortage, the development and planning of new chips is more important and urgently needed than ever before. Microchips that are more accessible and efficient will enable the development of driverless cars, 5G communications, and artificial intelligence, which prospects that should not be overlooked. However, it's vital to think about the broader consequences of adopting automated design technology, such as the requirement for individuals with relevant skills and knowledge, as well as the need to upskill individuals who are presently doing the process manually. Chip layout, whether human or automated, necessitates knowledge of computer, electronics, and device physics. These talents require time to master and are in high demand in an industry that produces a wide range of items in addition to microchips. It's critical that the organizations involved comprehend this and take the necessary actions to satisfy their local and global talent requirements. Concerns about job loss are frequently fueled by automation. In reality, maintaining pace in the electronics sector will necessitate the creation of the next generation of microchips by people and firms with vision. The breakthrough was described as one of the most important achievements in the last few years and will be a huge help in speeding up the supply chain. After all that hardware has done for machine learning, I believe that it is time for artificial intelligence to return the favor in improving how chips are made. So what is your opinion on this new and faster way of creating new computer chips? Do you expect this to help in the chip shortage or there being quicker iterations being made on new chips? Please tell us your opinion in the comments below. I would love to hear what you have to say about it. Thank you for watching AI News. We consistently report on the newest technologies that are shaping the future of our world. We'd appreciate you subscribing and watching our other videos. See you around and take care.